Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you like and subscribe for more daily content. The title of this video is Twin Flames, A Lifetime's Journey. There's only ever one person and it's your person. It can be really interesting, well it is so interesting when you can sense what your twin flame is going through. I mean, not to presuppose or over-analyse it, but in terms of upheaving and purging emotions, you can feel it. You can sense that, get the vision, you can get the feeling from them. They won't know where all this is going. They'll just know that they're having an emotional process right now of becoming aware emotionally of where they're at. You can't heal their life for them, or their, you can't make the, uh, their choices for them. Or twin flames choose as one, but it doesn't always look like that on the outside. And if, if they appear to be making a choice that looks different, you don't have any control over that process. You just have to let it play out. You can really take a thorough look at where you're at, and that's what is going to... And that's what will help. That is what will bring results. Have you ever allowed yourself to feel what you truly want and what you really, really desire? To inflame aside, because you're not waiting for them in order to live life. You're living life now. Life's happening in spite of what they're up to. You choose to remember that you are both powerful beings, your creators. Excuse me, I knew it was a mistake having a fizzy drink <laughs> whilst recording this. Yeah, you are, you're both powerful beings and co-creators. Is there anywhere in your consciousness right now that you, that you might not be feeling that, that's so? If you just found, an air, if you have, you just found an area that needs loving. So it can match the rest of you. The same energy will be present in some form with your twin flame. Please know that no part of you is separate from your good. All of you deserves all of the good that the divine has for you. No, nobody else can have your good. Only you can have your good. Claim it now. Choose to receive it. And don't sit in the energy of believing that you can't have the life you want. Go where the desire is. Journal out your feelings, get really clear on them. What is your true desire? Start to get that energy moving. Get it loved all the way through, get it refreshed. You don't have to decide immediately what you're going to do specifically or where you're going to live. It's simply opening something up that's going to, get, it's going to be examined. Follow the steps. It doesn't mean you have to... Uh, follow up your desires in any specific direction or with any specific action. You're just healing the energy to enable changes to occur naturally. If you start opening things up and saying that you can have anything you want to this energy, it releases. You really can have everything you want there's no limit there's no restriction you can do whatever you choose to do or are guided to do as a result of healing through this energy then you can take your next step you might just be being asked to look in a certain place in yourself and then you decide to take a different action whatever you're guided to do be sure to enjoy yourself all of it is easy let go of the idea that the process is a difficult one Your heart always knows it was meant to be in a long-term, established, eternal union. Any part of you that ever felt that it just couldn't have that, just you can let that go and be with that part of yourself right now. What do we know now about relationships? There's only one relationship. Just because... Other people have been in relationships for, say, 50, 80 years. 
Yeah, that's okay, but it doesn't mean that they're with their eternal partner. They could be. But we're building something really worthwhile. We're taking time to build it. We're building it perfectly. It may look like it's taking a long time, but it will last for the whole of eternity when other relationships will crumble. There's a really fabulous energy coming in right now. I'm really getting finely tuned into what it needs to heal. The energy is drawing the two of you together. Everything will be you, a whole bloody lot. Being grounded and rooted doesn't mean being stuck. Remember, this is a moving energy. Go on, man. Getting, getting warm while I'm talking. <laughs> Oh, that's better. Yeah, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing exactly what you desire right now. Feel into your heart and assess how you, you and your twin flame are feeling about each other right now. If you come across any frosty feelings, it's safe to let that energy go now. There's a lot of anger coming up in the collective to be cleared out at this time. About both parties having been in other relationships and walking away from each other again and again. A lot of self-judgment is leaving. We are all releasing separation right now. And this continues after union and harmonious union. So all the feelings being experienced right now. Any negative feelings, it's okay, they're leaving, that's the release of it. It doesn't mean we're bad or wrong in any way, just because you're feeling unpleasant stuff. It, it, it just means like that we're like a drain being unblocked. In that surrender that, you're going, that we're all going deeper into, it's surrendering to the release of those feelings. Let them all go, it's all going. The minute you choose your harmonious twin flame union, that was it. Everything else had to leave. Be, everything out in a light, out of alignment with it had to leave, be gone, because it's not the truth. Only love is real. Again, this is a process of feeling your feelings, knowing that once you feel them all, <clears throat> all the way through, they're gone. So run and be with all the feelings that you can possibly find. Every moment of every day and the chance to feel through everything that arises. That's being present with yourself and being present with the divine. The more you do that, the less can stay in your consciousness and the more separation leaves. The illusion is just an illusion and as you release that energy, it automatically transforms into the truth. Which is that the illusion wasn't real, it was just... Energy that one was using to hold a pattern in place, release that energy and boom, your relationship with healing and bringing love first within. And once that's done, you can experience it in your union. Always the healing first, always the connection with love first. Some people are doing a lot of mastering right now, possibly ahead of their harmonious twin flame union. Another batch of unions is brewing. They have been for some weeks now. Some people come into the unions by taking their upsets by the reins and are more focused on choosing for their union to happen. Other people are more about working through everything that arises and just allowing it to happen more organically. Whilst others are much more dynamic in their approach. Some called it in quickly and then couldn't maintain it. There's something to be said for both ways of doing it. There's nothing wrong with meeting everything as it comes, followed by the inevitability that it will happen. The sure way is to build the foundation. Some people bring it in and it's not always comfortable. Some are spontaneous, like they really want it, and, and, then, and it's brought in and then it's, it feels intensely bad. So there's nothing wrong with build, spending as long as you feel like you need to building the foundation. It's a lot more gentle and balanced in that way. Hmm. Okay, everybody. Um, 
I am going to do this video in two parts, I reckon. It's like break it up a little bit. So I digest the information in more bite-sized pieces. So on that note, I'm going to ring off now. And I will see you very, very soon in part two. Bye-bye.